Hey guys, I know um, there's a couple subscribers on here that I have that are like Star Wars fans. And um, I don't know if anyone um, <clears throat> went out this past weekend for the Labor Day weekend, but Toys R Us had this awesome two day sale for 50% off. Uh, they had the Star Wars, the big Millennium Falcon for, for half off. Which would uh, came up to be uh, seventy nine ninety nine. This was a Sunday and Monday deal only, and they also had the the AT T E Walker on for half off for forty nine ninety nine. And I really, really, I mean, I don't collect Star Wars. I like Star. Um, I, I like the Star Wars movies, um, specifically the first trilogy. But and I really wanted to get this big Millennium Falcon. Um, I was fighting myself to not buy it, but I really wanted to get it. I had a couple extra $10 gift cards, which would have made it, um, would have made it cheaper for me. I had, like, about three more $10 gift cards, would have made it 49 Um, but I know I'd probably get some, uh, <coughs> my girlfriend would probably kill me while I'm walking home with a huge box like that. But, um, I don't know, whoever did, whoever got, um, took advantage of the sale, um, um, congrats but I decided to go ahead and pick up the AT TE Walker which is right here the reason I picked it up was um, I'm gonna customize it I'm either gonna use it for a Cobra transport vehicle I'm thinking about painting it like a black and gunmetal gray and then either use it as a transport vehicle for my Cobra Bat or I'm just gonna leave it plain white as it is put some Cobra stickers on it and then I can use it as an Arctic transport vehicle for my snow serpents so either way I haven't decided yet but uh I don't know I this is like the first Star Wars toy I actually I, I ever bought so um <clears throat> I don't know it's a pretty huge vehicle. Um, when I get it opened up and I have it, when I decide what it, um, what to do with it, I guess I'll put a little review with it with my GI Joe figures and show how it works out. Um, <clears throat> they also did have I don't know if for the Star uh, Transformer fans they did have some animated and Transformers Universe stuff on sale too for fifty percent off. I end up picking up. Um, Silver bolt, uh, silver bolt here for half off. Uh, it came up to be, I believe, twelve dollars. You know, I've always, <coughs> always wanted to get it, never did. It's gonna add it to the Transformers collection. And I also wanted to point out, as I mentioned before, I did pick buy a GI Joe Pit Command Center online when they were on sale for $69.99 it arrived you know I received in the mail a couple weeks ago it, it came in within two days of me ordering it they ship it into this they ship it right in the Hasbro box so um, for anyone that orders this it's a little warning if uh, you don't trust your neighbors the UPS guy just left it on my doorstep and like I said I end up paying uh, about 25 bucks for this because I had it was on sale for $69.99 and I had the $10 gift cards which I use and there it is right there in the box it comes in this huge box and you're gonna have have to have a lot of patience if you want to put it together it comes in a lot of pieces and it does come with like almost a, I'm not gonna exaggerate a million stickers I already put it together. It's right up there. The only thing I need to do now is apply all the stickers. And as I, I'll show you here, you got to have a lot of patience because it has a lot of stickers. Let's see. There's going to be a ton of them. A ton of them to put on. It's going to take me a couple hours. So when I get that done, I'll go ahead and make a review of the Command Center. 
Alright guys, I'll talk to you later.